Welcome to today's devotion. I'm Justin. I'm glad to see you. Uh, this morning, uh, our topic is being like James. That's James, the brother of Jesus. And uh, I'm taking our reading selection from the Divine Hours. It is, here we go, it is Prayers for Autumn and Winter Time by Phyllis Tickle. And one of the, the topics uh, that is in one of the readings for this week has to do, again, with James, the brother of Jesus. And um, in these readings, it, it begins, uh, well, one of the readings has, it says, St. James of Jerusalem, brother of Jesus, was bishop of Jerusalem, who led the early church and directed the expansion of, uh, of the gospel to the Gentiles, everyone who's not a Jew. He was stoned to death on October 23rd, uh, 60. And so he gave his life uh, for for our faith. It's interesting as I think about uh, James. Um, at one point in the gospels, his mother and uh, Jesus' bro uh, mother and, and brothers come to try to get Jesus because they think that he's apparently gone mad, isn't isn't well, and and Jesus doesn't go with them. It's interesting to see that over time, James became someone who not only thought that his brother wasn't crazy, but gave his life uh, to to follow Jesus as not only his brother but his his Lord and his Savior. Um, and and I was looking at the reading for today. And the readings all have to do with day-to-day, um, -day, lifelong faith. And as I was thinking about this, uh, this is just the idea that, uh, that I wanted to offer to us today. All we can do is what we can do today. So right now, as you are joining me, and as I'm here doing our devotional this morning, we're doing what we can do right now. We're connecting with the Lord. We are doing the same kind of things that James did over time. You're probably like me. Sometimes what Jesus is doing in our lives isn't clear. Sometimes we're not sure what God is up to. Uh, but we can see that over time, James became somebody who would give his life for the gospel, follow Jesus for the rest of his life. And so um, we've got this. Uh, we've got this parable. Uh, we've got this. Um, we've got uh, Jesus talking in Matthew uh, chapter 13. And it says that when Jesus uh, finished telling the parables, he left the district, coming to his hometown, he taught the people in their synagogue in such a way that they were astounded. And they said, where did this man get this wisdom and these miraculous powers? Uh, this is the carpenter's son, surely. Is it not the mother? Is he not the mother? Uh, is, his not, uh, is his mother not the woman called Mary? And his brother, brothers James and Joseph, and Simeon and Jude. His sisters too, are they not all here with us? So where did this man get it all? And they would not accept him. The people of his own town would not accept him. And Jesus said to them, a prophet is despised only in his own country and his own house. And he did not work many miracles there because of their lack of faith. Now it's interesting, like at this point, Jesus is being referred to in reference to his brothers. Um, he's saying, like, they're saying, don't we know his brothers? Don't we know his family? Don't we know that he's just the brother of James? I think it's interesting that over time, as we look back, James was the brother of Jesus, was he not? And uh, James came to know that, too. So as we go into our readings today, uh, this, uh, this is going to just center around connecting with God today and trusting that God will preserve us for our whole lives and preserve our faith as we connect day by day. So, let's begin. This is the call to prayer. Let my mouth be full of your praise and your glory all day long. Do not cast me off in my old age, and do not forsake me when my strength fails. That's a great prayer. In our culture, we are so concerned about youth and making sure that we're, um, you know, still being, you know, relevant and hip and things like that. Um, God cares about different things than that. Being with, uh, being with Jesus in our faith day to day, all day long, um, trusting that God will not forget us as we grow in wisdom, grow in age. 
um, even as we become weaker, our strength can grow. That's a wonderful picture. It says, O Lord, my God, my Savior, by day and night I cry to you, let my prayer enter your presence. And that's Psalm 88. And here's the greeting. This is from Psalm 25. Show me your ways, O Lord, and teach me your paths. Lead me in your truth and teach me, for you are the God of my salvation. In you I have trusted all the day long. We're seeing over and over and over again this picture of trusting God in our right now all day long. Could I just pray for us that we could trust God today and all day long? That would be my hope for us today. God, thank you for your love for us. Thank you that just as um, at one point, Jesus, you were referred to as James' brother in a way that was derogatory, um, that James came to know that he uh, was your brother and that you were his Lord and his Savior. And he's willing to give the whole rest of his life for you. God, all we can give you right now is the day that we have. Uh, God, we give this day to you. We give ourselves to you today, and we ask that we'd have the grace um, to be with you, to be in conversation with you, to respond to you all the day long. Amen. All right. That was mainly the thought that I had for us today. Let's go through the uh, the three uh, the three times of the refrain, like these uh, like these daily offices do. It says, deliverance belongs to the Lord. Your blessing be upon your people. Let's do that three times. Again, this is from, uh, this is from Psalm 3.8. Deliverance belongs to the Lord. We can say that. Your blessing be upon your people. Your blessing be upon your people. And one more time. Deliverance belongs to the Lord. Deliverance belongs to the Lord. Your blessing be upon your people. Your blessing be upon your people. Friends, may the Lord's blessing be upon you today. I'm going to close us with the prayer appointed for the week, and then I'm going to pray the concluding prayers of the church over us. The prayer appointed for this week. Almighty and everlasting God, in Christ you have revealed your glory among the nations. Preserve the works of your, uh, of your mercy, that your church throughout the world may persevere with steadfast faith in the confession of your name. That's what we're doing today. We're confessing the name of Jesus. So we are... Um, stepping into this prayer this morning. Lord, may your whole church do the same. And here are the concluding prayers of the church. This is two part. The first part is grant, O God, that following the example of your servant James, the brother of our Lord, your church may give itself continually to prayer and to the reconciliation of all who are at variance and enmity, basically fighting, separated from each other, separated from God. Don't we see a lot of these things in our world? And we ask it through Jesus Christ, our Lord. And we will end with me praying this blessing over you as you go into your day. Feel free to put your hands out, and uh, I, uh, I will pray this. Lord God, Almighty and Everlasting Father, you have brought my friends in safety to this new day. Preserve them with your mighty power, that they may not fall into sin, nor be overcome by adversity. And in all they do, direct them to the fulfilling of your purpose. And it's through Jesus Christ, our Lord, that we ask it. Amen. Blessings on you, friends. Thanks for joining me. I hope you have a great day and know that you are loved. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.